stress, you are not alone. Yeah, 77% of people say stress impacts their physical health, and 73% say it affects their mental health. But the good news is that there are many ways to combat those negative impacts of stress. Yeah, joining us now with some tips is Dr. Efrat Lamandre, a family nurse practitioner with a PhD in functional medicine. Dr. E, <laughs> welcome back to the broadcast. It's a pleasure to be here, thank you. All right, so uh, most people are able to tell when they're stressed. Maybe they start sweating or their heart starts to pound faster, but that's in the moment. What are some signs that you are just stressed out and it's, it's you know, just in general stressed out, and what should we be doing to address it? What I want viewers to understand is that stress is not just a mental concept. It physically causes inflammation in the body. So to know when your stress has become unmanageable is when your body starts telling you. For some people, it's subtle, poor sleep, GI issues, low energy. And for others, it's full-blown chronic diseases that seem to have come out of nowhere. I see patients every day that are really not feeling well. And of course, we work on nutrition, sleep, and supplements. But if we don't also focus on the stress management piece, we can only get so far with their health. Dr. E, you just mentioned nutrition. What role do diet and also exercise play in, in really managing stress? They are so critical. When you exercise, certain chemicals like dopamine and serotonin are released that reduce stress and improve mood. And by the way, these are the same chemicals found in antidepressants that you can get naturally with just movement. And P.S., if you do the exercise outside, <laughs> it's extra bonus points. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as far as nutrition, the quality of your food can either improve or worsen your stress. So if you're eating processed foods all day, it increases inflammation, makes your body work harder, which increases, makes your stress worse. On the other hand, if you eat whole foods, it fuels your body and reduces inflammation, which reduces your stress. Okay, because people, again, they, they turn to that uh, uh, comfort food, which you just said is not good for you. So. So why don't we talk about some other ideas, other ways we can reduce the stress? Okay, so other ideas that we can reduce the stress. So a lot of times you'll hear people say, when we talk about stress, we'll talk about meditation, herbal therapy, spending time in nature, and, and all of that is true. But an easier, more accessible way to relieve stress and anxiety is just to spend time with the people you love. Connection with family and friends assuming you like them. Well, so, so what, you know, what if they're causing stress? You know, what if you, know, you need time yeah. away from them? You have to choose the ones you like. <laughs> and sharing a laugh with them, it's, it's actually a natural remedy for stress and inflammation to just laugh with the people that you love. Yeah, I mean, I think we all have some level of stress you yes. know, at some point, right? So it's really so important to have that mind-body care balance going. Dr. E, thank you so much for joining us today to help us combat stress, which is such a common problem. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me.